Every week, participants at the Work It Pole Fitness Studio in Strood spin and climb. Last month, the international body which recognises sports, the GAISF, announced it was giving pole fitness observer status, provisionally accepting it as a sport. It's great that it's finally starting to get the recognition it deserves. Um, it does have a bad perception with pole. It does have that seedy side that people seem to relate it to. Hopefully it will start to get rid of that a little bit. Um, more people will hopefully try and take it up. It, does, it is a sport that most people don't tend to try fearing that they're not fit enough or they're not in the right shape. Um, so hopefully it'll get more people involved, age ranges, and hopefully on my side, I hope a lot more men tend to get involved. The GAISF have likened the athletic and technical skill in pole to gymnastics and ice skating, but pole's close association with late night bars and strip clubs has sparked debate on its status as a sport. I just think for the people that have trained for things such as the heptathlon, Although, yes, pole dancing can be challenging, I also think at the same time it's not of the same standard, but yet they get the same reward. It's um, a sport that keeps you very, very fit. Um, it's a very elegant sport. I know people think it probably isn't, but it's very, very elegant. It's extremely good for you, and I, I don't see why not. Why not? Let's, let's see it. It's a, bit, it's a bit weird, really, isn't it, having pole dancing a big sport with like the EU hall ideas that it's got like with the stigma around it. People do like train for it and compete competitively anyway so I mean why not and I think it'd probably be like good opportunity to like challenge the stereotype that people have of it. I think it's a joke really I, I've never heard of it in my life but uh, yeah um, pole dancing yeah I suppose they're sinking ice swimming so they're going to pole dance and smile and things like that yeah but, yeah I could never imagine it. People are sort of a little bit close-minded about it. They just, nine times in ten, again, they haven't even tried a lesson before. They've just seen what they've seen on TV, programmes and films and read. If they come and give it a try and they, they sort of feel what has to go into it, that sexiness is, is not the case. It's, it's a sport you, you burn, you bruise. And nine times in ten, when you're in a class, in a session, any studio and student will tell you they become proud of those bruises and those burns and that pain because it's an achievement. It's, and they fight through because they want to progress and they want that movement. There's still a long way to go before pole gets Olympic recognition, but here in Strood, Kent and the world over, the sport will be trying to get a greater hold over the public. This is Cameron Tucker for KNTV in Strood.